In this video, we'll take a look at the startup, soft, and timeline flag triggers within Mosaic Designer. Let's start with startup. Startup triggers are fired whenever the controller fully boots up. This could be because of a reboot or a restore of power. Once these triggers are fired, they can run actions to get a show back in sync, to start a day, or anything else you would require at initial creation. There really aren't any specific configuration options for this trigger, as it will just fire whenever something is run. However, it may be desirable to assign a startup fixture only to a single controller, or to handle multiple startup triggers with absorbed. Let's take a look at soft triggers. Like startup triggers, there's not a lot of configuration that's done for a soft trigger. Soft triggers primarily give you a way to trigger something in the mosaic from the web interface. If you take a look at the web interface, we have the option to trigger a soft trigger simply by clicking the button. Unlike other triggers, soft triggers are not automatically called. They have to be triggered by user interaction. These are a good place to put things like system startup or shutdown or any sort of rig checks or conditional checking. Lastly, let's take a look at timeline flag. If I jump back to my timeline tab, you'll notice there's a flag option at the top of the screen. Flags give you the ability to trigger inside of a timeline. Once I place a flag, I have the ability to modify its time or give it a name. If I jump back to my trigger pane, once I select my trigger, you'll notice I have the ability to choose a timeline and then a flag within the timeline. This is useful if you want to run multiple timelines consecutively and use triggers to jump between them. You could have a flag partway through a timeline which will start another timeline or to turn on some other function of Mosaic.